So while we're trying to still reconcile with your ex-husband, mm -hmm. then on the 9th of January 2022, he goes into social media mm -hmm. and announces that you guys are broken up. Um, he announced that uh, he kicked me out of the house. Yes, and that he had spent 45 million naira on you. <laughs> no, that was, yeah, that's what he said, but that's, that's not true. Yeah. Yes, and that you were in the marriage for social media yeah. alone and all the attention. Um, and all that. Yes. Okay. You know, um, some of those allegations were not true. Okay. Um, because he initially thought that I was something happened in the marriage. Right. And I confronted him about it, and he thought I was going to come on social media. Did he cheat? Yes, he cheated. Right. Yeah. And um, he thought I was going to come online and talk about it. Uh... You know, so he was scared and just ran on social media and said, mm -hmm. and said all those things. Mm -hmm. This is a man that's met me on social media. Mm -hmm. I'm always on social media, mm -hmm. promoting my business and, you know, showing myself and all that. He slid into my DM and... For him to say that I'm always on social media, mm. especially when during our honeymoon and everything, he was the one posting on my page, asking me to post him on my page. Mm. You know, um, even when the time he lost my hair, you know, he said I should post it on my page. Right. So he liked the social media. He likes attention. it. Yes, he likes the attention. Even when I revealed I was pregnant, he was the one that wrote the caption. Mm. Mm. So it, you know, and all of that, I'm like. You saw me like this, mm. and you still came and asked me to marry you. Mm. But mm. now I feel that uh, he was just doing all that to save his, his own face. Yes, his own face, his own image. Yes. Mm. yes. You're going to say something else? Yes, even with all of that, yeah. I still wanted to make my marriage work. Right. I went back to the house. He didn't throw me out. I left. Ah, so after he posted in yes. general, you went back to the house? Yes, I went back to the house. Why? Because... I, like, it was like I was in love with him, you mm. know, and I wasn't, I was heavily pregnant and I was vulnerable. Mm. So I, mm. I wasn't really thinking straight at that time. Mm. I was like, I don't want to have my baby out of wedlock. I don't want to bring this child to this world and I'm having issues with the father. Mm. You understand? I want mm. to make this work anyhow possible. Right. I want to make it work. Right. Right, so you went, because that's why you went back. I went back, and it wasn't easy when I went back. First was your husband's post, mm -hmm. you know, that you responded to, and it made the news. The second was now this whole thing with a, an actress called Nancy Heme. <laughs> 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 and this is how it is. So you have to understand, for me, yes. who I don't know, I don't know you. Yes. And even Ubi is my friend, has been my friend for a long time, but I didn't even know any of this whole drama. Okay. About Ubi, I, it was when I was interviewing him many years ago that I heard about the drama and research. I'm like, ah, Ubi, but I knew Ubi at a personal level, so I don't judge people based on what so the public this, says. This, mm. And so, so this, look at this. I mean, I'm reading about her, I'm like, okay, but she, she, okay, she wants a private life, she says. Why is she commenting on his post? So that first one, let's have, then, then the second one is, okay, did Nancy Hemi is posting her own. <laughs> you go under it and you comment. <laughs> so, what's going on? Okay, so. <clears throat> Okay, with that nasty semi situation uh -huh. happened during when I was married to Steve and during my wedding with Steve, right. when I was getting married to him and all that stuff. So, um, Steve talks a lot. Mm. He says a lot of things. Mm. Um, so he was the one that uh, opened up and was, you know, showing me his demon between him and Nancy. Mm. Right. While you were before you were married to him. Yes, before I was married to him. Okay. So. And um, I, I didn't understand it why she was at the wedding. You understand? So, so he showed you DMs, essentially yes. that she was propositioning him. No, that they had sexual intercourse right. or whatever together. Yeah. Uh, then she still attended your wedding. Yes, I didn't understand it. Wow. Yes, <laughs> I didn't understand it. Um, so I was like, "What is this lady doing here?" And there's there's a there's a time that uh, I think when my my ex husband um, during our honeymoon he brought like a breakfast and he was giving me breakfast in bed she made a slick comment right under that and i didn't find it funny you hmm. know and i told him that look at what she's saying like i don't understand this you know i think he made her delete the comment so since since then um i i can't i i don't know how to pretend i'm sorry i hmm. I, you know, tell people the way it is. I, 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 you know, I'm not the kind of person that uh, if you're my friend and or 
if I see someone doing something that don't, doesn't sit well with me, of course, I have to say something. I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to come to that. So just to understand what you mean. So after you got married, mm -hmm. but she, there was no evidence that she was still sleeping with your husband. Or was well, the, yeah, she, he was still, she was still sleeping with my husband during the time they were together. My old, yeah, they were still sleeping together. But after you got married, they were yes, still sleeping? After, yes, after I got married, yeah. So your husband was also cheating on you? Yes. I mean, so when you, when you were... He was che cheating on me with different people. Right, and she was one of them. Yeah, she was one of them, yeah. Right. And so, oh, right, so that she put this comment, so you knew this, but then this was part of the issues that made you leave the marriage. Yeah, this was one of the issues, yeah. Right. So there was one, there was a set of people telling you, I told you so. so. Mm -hmm. And there's other set of people saying, maybe I've told you about her. Yes. That was, yeah. Yeah. So it's... What is that like? At that point, did you have people around you? Who yes, I had, I had my parents. Right. They're very supportive, especially right. my father and my mm. mom. Mm. They're very supportive. My mom never approved the marriage. Right. She didn't. She saw some things that, mm. but I, I, I was like, oh, mom. Mm. So even though you had that support, mm. why did you still think of taking your life? Because I was praying. And you said you actually took the steps to take your life. Yes. Yes, I did. Right. And because... The, you know, we had this big wedding. Mm. It was all over social media. You know, and I, I'm, we made a promise, me and he made a promise, we we're never going to leave the marriage, no matter what. Mm. Because he had multiple, you know, he had, um, you know, past, with, you yeah. know, past wed marriage and stuff. You know, and we kind of have the same situation. So I, I didn't understand it. And I was like, wow, so this marriage is done for. Mm. Like, mm. I was better. I was way better with my ki three kids living my life. Mm. You understand? Mm. I won't. I shouldn't have gotten married. You shouldn't have gotten married. I shouldn't have gotten married.